Alright, here we go. There's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep oh. to center field. Under it is Sizemore, and there's the first down of the inning. I thought that was a homer. That had to be at least 400 feet. So with one gun, here's Ichiro. Now here's the first pitch. Now the second pitch of the inning is sent on the ground out to second. On to Blaylock at first, two away. Two gone and Jimmy Rollins digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. Low for bowl one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here. Especially in this part of the lineup, so you can't let your guard down. In there, one and one. Wouldn't be a surprise to see him continue to work that outside corner. Oh, and this is fouled back and out of play. That's a good pitch, too. Fouled back. We'll try again, one, two. That ah. ball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. KC down in order. They lead it one to nothing. David Ross will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. And, and pitch counts here always a big factor, more so here in the first few weeks of the season. Ooh, back to back tough pitches and he's down 0-2 now. And two good location fastballs there. Both in different parts of the zone, but both effective. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Corey Hart will stand in. He's one for two so far. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. And I know you've got a shutout working, but you got to be at least a little worried about this guy at the plate. And this pitch is lined into center field, and he's going to reach with his second hit of the night. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. He called the wrong. We'll dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And this one runs up high. Ball 1. And they won't be afraid to work up in the zone against a guy like this. They want him to hit it in the air. Swing and a miss for strike 1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. No runs, 4 hits. And no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Yeah. And Swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and stepping in is the second baseman, Orlando Hudson. Slice down the left side, but foul. He waits, now the pitch. Right back with another fastball, it's 0-2 now. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Spins and pulls this one down the line at first. And Howard will amble into the bag for the put out, and that's the end of the inning. So Look how pathetic our hitting right is. Make it seven shutout innings now. Josh Hamilton will dig in here. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The pitch. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Oh and a wasted pitch there, 1-2. and two. Boy, and this is the wrong guy to keep missing with up in the zone. Those are two dangerous locations there. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And that's an intelligent hitter for you. He knows that pitch will break down and out of the zone. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Three. 
Of course. I get struck out by the curveball again. So one gone in the inning. Now Ryan Howard will hit with the bases empty. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Ah, I thought that was cracked too. This one away. There are two gone. So two men are gone here for Sean Figgin. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, and it's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Sets the target low here, and it misses 1-1. One and one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1-2 and two now. And the way he's kept the ball around the plate so far, he deserves a few calls at this point in the game. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. And a fastball. Oh, my God. And the side is retired. Try to get this game over with. Three, but they're on top one to nothing. Now the first pitch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. Ichiro is there to put it away, and they couldn't ask for more than a one pitch out to begin the eighth. Grady Sizemore will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far, and that misses ball one. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Well, if he's going to overcommit to pitches like that down in the zone, I keep throwing him until he proves he can lay off. Yeah. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Meiser Asturias will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Down and in here. One ball, no strikes. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two thirds. And Ooh. this is low with it. 2 and 0. Oh. And on 2 and 0, you should probably be taking here. You've got to have base runners. Swing and a ground ball towards the Oh, ball. really? What? And the Sturris reaches. Of course, make me the shortstop when I want to be the third baseman. Yeah, the tying runs on base now with two outs. And who knows? If this next guy can put one in the gap, we can have ourselves a tie ball game. And this one will be out of play off to the left. And this is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Boy, and you don't want to hit a guy when he's the go-ahead run. Yeah. Be careful if you work that far inside. And he struck him out in seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Osvaldo Martinez will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. And this is cut on. He caught the curveball too. What? Oh, he's the same person. I thought they changed some the pitching. Now the pitch. Uh, here it's a cold strike, nothing in two. Not very good discipline here. He chases one out of the strike zone on the last pitch, then turns around and just stares at strike two. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. Swing. God. Breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Carlos so sick of that curveball. Carlos 
swing and a miss. Oh, my God. Bases are empty, one man out. Curveball, and he takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. I guess it doesn't hurt when that curveball gives me a home run once in a while. But I only got three hits this game. Two of those hits were home runs. Oh, Brad Lidge is up. Get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Swing hard liner to left center. And Martinez is going to have himself a base knock. Well, that's one of the benefits of being a switch hitter. It doesn't matter who they call on to face you, you'll always have the advantage. Now, the first pitch. Oh, come on. Swing here, and they'll appeal it down to first. He went around, says Raleigh McClure, at strike one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And double-barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. Out of play. Another 0-2 coming. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, it says the first base umpire. It's ball one. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy out, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Ichiro Suzuki stands in as he looks at ball one here. And no threat to run over there at first. So with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to Blaylock at first, and the inning is over. But a run for the Royals here in the inning, and it came on this home run. Last chance coming up for the Mariners. It's 2-0 Kansas City. Matt Holliday stands in as he looks at a called strike. And they've got the right guy at the plate, but at the wrong time. He needs to be hitting with a runner on base somewhere. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball 1-2. and two. Gotta be tempting to try to sneak a fastball by him inside, but you do run the risk of him really getting a hold of one. And this is fouled back and out of play. And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at 2-2. Two and two. And you can tell he's starting to give away a little ground out there now. Maybe a few miles an hour off that... Dang, Millardo's getting uh, probably ball really ball tired. Two and two. Yes, he is. And a curveball that time, but it's grounded foul. Trying to get him to shut out here. Now a ball lying toward the alley and left. Yeah, of course, and Sutton screws it up. Always. And this is See if I can get out of this. Hamilton. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. David Ross will step in as the possible tying run, but just a single here could make this a one-run game. Nope. And that is off the wall in right field. 
And that's going to bring in the run from second to make this a one-run game now. Well, this is not the way you want to close out a ball game here at home. That leads down to one now as they need to put out the fire and pronto. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Corey Hart is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Now a ball pulled foul down the line at third. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Braun is there to make the catch, and that's a big out number one. Okay, yeah, two more guys. He was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. He called her own. Collardo out of energy. Come on, Papa Bond. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. 14 pitches now here in the ninth inning. He's having to work for it. Martinez will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Orlando Hudson will work now on getting that tying run home from second. Ooh, that was so close, guys. Of course, I lost my shutout. At least I won that game. And Gallardo's tired. Really tired. <laughs> Led to victory by the start turned in. Well, yeah, I sucked at hitting really bad. What a performance he turned in. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, just for one run allowed, Matt. And anytime you can give your bullpen a day off, it does nothing but help your club in the long run. So that'll wrap yep, things up all right. tonight. For Dave Campbell, Eric Karros, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For even more, join us on the web at theshownation.com. Ooh, four hits. The Royals come out on top. Great, two, I only one. got four hits Highlights that game. Highlights from our game are coming your way next as we say goodnight from Carlton Stadium. Really did Stadium. bad that game. Jeez.